Yo guys kama kawaida hii ni mzua Kibao TV na mimi naitwa Wandiga. So guys eh uh, kama umekuwa ukifuatilia sana industry yetu ya music kama kama kuna story wao wow, zipiti sana but utakuwa familiar sana na Madam Peti Mouth au sio? Eh bana siku tatu zimepita Madam Peti Mouth amekuwa uh, kuna story imekuwa ikiendelea kwamba kuna vile amefilisika au sio? Na hapa tulipo ndio mtaa ambayo anaishi uh, Madam Peti Mouth. So guys eh tumeweza tu kufika hapa at least eh, tuweze eh, Tukue tu na ile ukweli kwamba ni kweli Madam Peti Mouth ametoka kule mahali alikuwa anaishi kwa sababu kuna stories zilikuwa zinasemekana kwamba anaishi Doni kutoka Doni uh, kuna stories zingine pia zilikuwa zinaisha kwamba anaishi Runda so guys eh, we are not sure until tumeona ile clip kwamba ako kwa nyumba na tulipompigia akatuambia kwamba ako hapa Embakasi eh, hapa Embakasi East eh. so guys eh, najaribu tu kumpigia Andio, uh, tu, tuweze at least tupige story, tujue uh, mambo iko vipi. So guys, eh, uh, kidogo tuwa chukwe. Hello? Hello? Unani nisikia? Ya, yeah, nakusikia. Eh, ni mzuo kibao TV. Sijii kama uko kwako kidogo tuonge. Eh, ni kukwa nyumba. Wuki kikatua kwa harvest. I think, I think tumepewa direction tuko kwa getu. Oh, you are in the gate. Ah, sawa. Nam guys, I think to my power, Rusa, was a queen and Dania gate. So, guys, eh, eh, Karibu to visit to Okonga story, Moja Komoja, Madam Petty, Mouth House. Yo, yeah, guys, you come out of Nasama Koma. This is the home of entertainment. Eh? Hello, Odi. Munyawe. Hi. Hi. Mambo. Eh, tukaribie? Ya, yeah, mkaribie lakini <laughs> Yo kuna ya kamaze Ya, yeah, so usigope Hizi ndo kazi zetu lazima tuwe na kamera yeah. I hope utaturusu at least tufanya interview Yes, tutafanya okay. mm. Pole, naona unalia Kidogo tu In fact, nataka ata sayi wenye wakona Barrels wani ite ni kwe Professional mona Because I have a lot of tears And Pole, labda kama unatoa machozi na ofia, tunaweza kaa chini kidogo labda? Yes, tunaweza kaa. Okay. Acha nikae huko. Acha nikae na huko. <laughs> Mtu anaweza kula hizo mapera naona ziko hapo. Utakupatia <laughs> moja ubebe. Asante sana. Labda anaweza tuambia uko haja lakini. Niko poa. Lakini vitu si nzuri kwa sasa hivi. I'm just trying to push, I'm, I'm still trying to accept the fact that this is what is happening right now. Yeah. Kuna, kuna video imekua iki trend, eh? I think uh, wewe ndo lichukua kiwa hapa kwa, hapa kwa nyumba. Na labda kwa mtu tu ambaye labda ajapata na fasi ya kuyangalea, uneza tuambe na inaongelea nini? Okay, your video. You know some people tend to think like um, I'm a big brand. So hiyo video niliamua kuchukua juu since ni hame hii side. Unapata kama watu wa hii area, most of them wako like petty mouth, mbuna uko huku, what's happening? Then the neighbors wana nijua like hii, embaka si east na julika nanga. So most of the people want to know my story, they want to know why I stay here. So niliona like it's hard explaining one on one, like I cannot walk, one on one like even do imefanyiki, even do imefanyika. Then you are living in a fear like a lot of people are going to are going to judge you. Wetu wengine pia watasema like, ndiyo, vitu zenya alikuwa nzinafanya ndo ime result. So ni kaona nifanye tu hiyo video so that I can explain the exact thing that happened which I did not explain but I was just trying to tell my followers, my fans, the people who know me to stop giving me a lot of pressure because this is it. Hakuna ingine. Yeah, so ni kaona tu, let me tell them, hile tu kitu inafanyika. But some of them still don't believe. Yeah. Naona kama compensation wengine bado wanaongelea kwani udema kusoma si tuliona liva gown ya graduation na ile interview alisema kwa interview fulani ya Eve nini nini shida tu mingi so for when you are joy tutawaeleza huku pia so that to minimize hiyo watu wenye wanakuja inbox eti nimesikia is it true mtu akuuliza hivi you know anataka you start explaining afresh which is a bit hard for me again mm. Labda tuanze hapa mahali pa graduation. Did you really graduate? Yes, I graduated last year, November, Zitek University main campus. I studied uh, 
uh, procurement and logistic that is purchasing and supply i graduated and i did my attachment at the national 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 treasury which i did not want to say at that particular moment because what wengine ngona sema like maybe nimelala na big fish ndaka nipeleka but now i can say cuz it's done it's just upon me to go and, and take my recommendation and apply for a job of which right now jobs are not there these politicians when you are to push wengine wao wendi kurudi wengine wanarudi but right now this year it's hard for them to help you mm. So Madam Petimouth uh, mimi nikianza kufuatilia story yako for the first nilisikia Madam Petimouth anaishi Runda second one nikasikia Doni mm. what happened mpaka ukafika hapa Embakasi Okay niko naishi Don home hiyo mm-hmm. Runda nine ni two watu wengine uh, always tend walikuwa naona ni kama siziishi Don home that is Greenspan mm-hmm. but mimi nilikuwa naishi Greenspan na nilisema anga mm-hmm. naishi Greenspan so sasa hiki tu ilitendeka ni maisha tu inakurudisha nyuma then una, unaona at the end of the day you've lost everything you want to start afresh without anybody helping you without anybody lifting you up because i believe na ezafanya hivyo peke yangu no family staki kwa hii issue no my brothers no my cousins or relatives because our my relatives ndio hata wame, wamechangia mimi kurudi hapa chini yeah so what really happened i used to stay with my boyfriend and to apologize at first you know kwa media I used to talk about sponsors sponsors na kila mtu alikuwa anajua i'm so rich at naongelea sponsors but they didn't know why i used to have a boyfriend who was so jealous and i loved him so 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 much to be honest so anytime ningeenda pale naongelea sponsors so that wale tu wenye wananitamani vijana wadogo wadogo watokwe roho una get ama tu wale wenye wananitamani tu watokwe roho wasinifuate so when i used the sponsor pia niliona kama ah sponsor at least ili ni brand ni ni nini so i wasn't getting so many dms so i was staying with my guy alikuwa anapenda hiyo ndio hata alikuwa ananiambia like i'm giving you two choices is either you take me public wambie watu you have a boyfriend you're interesting with your boyfriend or you stick on having a sponsor all the time so we've been staying for almost one and a half years i was providing cuz uh, niki kwa university my mom used to cater for everything so i understand this guy yeye pia alikuwa amemaliza university before me but bado hakuwa na hizi tu vitu ndogo ndogo yeye pia anangoja familia wafanye So I finished everything. Everything was just okay and I could say like siku moja ujama yangu ataomoka and everything will be okay. Being that tena nilienda ningapata kazi tena kwa mtembei nilikuwa nasema like things will be okay. You mean you maliza university last year na nimepata at least hiyo place pa kunishikilia. So I have this my aunt who used to come and visit us all the time. At first akianza kukuja alikuwa ananiambia like ukijana na kuestia time. This boy is using you, he's using your resources. This boy huyu ametumwa hamtawayoleka but mimi nilikuwa nasema ishindwe my aunt is just an enemy of progress so di, alikuwa na ni advisor di nauliza mamangu mamangu ananiambia i never know huyu mwenye anadharau ndo siku moja anaweza nitoa nje so as days goes by my aunt akaanzanga tena aka change sasa ikakuwa reverse atena na huyu jamaa Mm, ujama siku moja atakuwa at break sasa akaachana na ile jama kuni use jama atakuwa at break na nikamwambia auntie I've stayed with this guy and I know him because I know huyu mtu wangu hakuwa anapenda mademu hata wa mama mama hakuwa anapenda lakini nilikuwa nasema siku moja alikuwa na joke like akipata mama mkubwa anaweza kubali like watu support mimi na yeye na danganye mimi sister yake but hivika time ya bed ana divert story so auntie yangu akakuwa tu mgeni so siku moja I left the house I came back niko na neighbor mwenye rafiki yangu sana Call Stella Akaniambia eh na huko kwenu leo leo mmecheza sana hadi mnakimbizana and I was like aje ah, I did not buy the story tunakimbizana aje nikauliza chali yangu like who was he akaniambia tu si ni tu auntie ndo alikuwa amekaa so si unajua uwezi muuliza mlikuwa mnakimbizana aje ni kasium so the next time tena my auntie came akanituma niende nimletee mboga cuz anapenda mboga kienyeji and then i don't like going to this place so ananiambia enda ukirudi na kupatia 5k cuz yako na do nasema mhacha niende hii ni mboga yenye naenda kuchukua hizo majunction za kayole naenda na pikipiki na rudi so kurudi ubeshte yangu anasema evi wala kwani inakuanga aje siku hizi mnakisiana tu so i did not understand the gist like anaongelea nini cuz that was my boyfriend so i didn't understand the fact that my friend is trying to talk about my guy kissing somebody so i assume nikamuuliza akaniambia pana huo rafiki yangu amemconfuse so hapo instinct zangu zikaanza kuni cuz unajua kuna yule kanaiba anaweza ona vitu but asikwambie direct 
siku moja nikafanya tu ile on saturday nikasema natakutoka nirudi nijue ni nini natendeka cuz my aunt used to come like most of these weekends nikatoka hiyo saa tu nikarudi after two hours the the house was in order kwanza hapo bedroom una, you think like people were acting eh? people are in a titanic they are acting something is going on then i ask him mbona nyumba inakaa hivi eti hapana beshtangu deron alikuwa amekuja hapa na demo yake nikamza since when did you start giving people our house hmm? na yeye mbona akupeleka demo yake kwake nini eti you know, unajua yule menchi kwake alikuwa amekaa ah instincts imekata imekata tu kabisa kaanza kumuuliza anti ametoka saa ngapi jumboga naye ndio hii ameacha Hmm? Leo nimeenda kumbaia na pesa yangu. Mbona ajangoja na huwa anangoja anga maana nasema ipelekwe na pikipiki. Ni alikuja tu hata shortly akaenda. Eh hapo instincts zangu zikaanza kusema there is something going on. So it was one fine morning the reason we many letter hadi hapa wa leo. Antiangu alikuwa manifesti usiku like twendeni church nini nini. Mm, twendeni sijui wapi wapi. Nika reject zote. Ambia go and bring me mboga and she wrote me a very long shopping list yenye alipiga hesabu kita monipate hizi vitu itakuwa imeenda sana for hours or something nimeenda bila alikuwa anataka ikufanyika hizi vitu nikazichukua haraka haraka along the way kurudi kwa nyumba i found these people redundant i think they had forgotten to close the door hiyo ya the main door ilikuwa imepushiwa tu i don't know what was happening so, maybe ni, ni aunty yako na boyfriend wako yes my aunt and my boyfriend the same aunty alikuwa anasema boyfriend wako na quest yes the one who used to visit us the one who used to sponsor us like alikuwa anatupatia tu do so aunty yangu i found them redundant kufungua tu mlango hivi these people are having a good time hawa tu wameshikana and i stood there looking at them at least i wanted my boy to justify himself because i did not believe what i was seeing it was so unfortunate but then he did not apologize but i thought like maybe he will apologize and yangu na kamka kasema i get, i warned you i told you this and this nilianza kukwambia hivi kitambo batu kusikia so this is my guy akaanza kurusha tantrum sana niambia kwani chakula umekuwa ukikula huku nani ananunua cuz at one point ilifika mahali cha yangu actually it was in feb yeye ndo alianzanga kufanya sasa vitu vice versa na rudi na pata amepika amenunua nyama so nikaanza kusema ya yeah, at least ucha yangu ameanza kuamka ananiambia eti sijui anafanya sijui online writing though sikuwa ni unajua sikuwa na evidence but unajua pate chali yako nimepata ame change bed ame change viti hiyo sikuwa ndio yangu akaniambia eti hizi vitu zilichangiwa ucha yako anaweza toa pesa wapi nilikuwa na change and we were waiting ujue vile tungekwambia ndio hakuna so being that tumeshaona na macho mwenye macho ambiwi tazama this is it eh hey, ilinikula ilinikula sana so nikauliza ucha yangu yani na, na ngoja aonge epi yako tu ashaongea he was so brief bold and brief anti yako ashaongea so that day nimeenda tu nikalala tu staki kukula wao wana have time unasikia wanaoga wana move kwa sitting room mimi niko tu kwa bedroom asubuhi imefika usingizi nililala late nikasikia tu kama watu wanaingia kwa nyumba walikuwa natoa vitu and that is how they left and then there is this laptop my daughter alikuwa ameharibu ya chali yangu akaniambia like anataka nimlipe hiyo laptop aunt yangu aka insist yenda linunua laptop mambo okay nitengeneza pesa ngapi they insisted they wanted 30k or kama sisi wapatia i get a brand new being that 30k was what i had hiyo saa i gave them everything so everything in chali yangu alikuwa amenibaia they we yani walichukua aunt yangu alisema like vitu zote zenye u boy amenibaia ni pesa zake ndio alikuwa ananifungikia leo wame they have been sleeping for almost one year but i didn't see that that is how they left being that unajua hizi jobs zenye pia tulikuwa nafanya pay tunalipwa yes vizuri but si ile pesa nyenye unasema you can keep nini nini so at that point nikapigia mamangu nikamwambia tu mam nisaidie 6k nitakurudishia nikasema let me just come and start afresh one day nitakumbuka cause vitu zikishatolewa nyumba hauna pesa hiyo sa cause hiyo time pia siku aggressive na job yeye alikuwa nafanya kila kitu what can you do The best thing I relocated to here I started afresh. So labda walichukua vitu zote na zile vitu labda ulikuwa umenuna pesa zako. Walichukua kila kitu my hand said. Hizo mm. bado ni pesa zake cuz kuna zile tokens zenye alikuwa ananipatia kama 5k ni ni nini alichukua. So unajua hiyo time pia you cannot fight to be honest you cannot fight cuz these are people who are in love. 
and then you you also love your guy bado unapenda huu jamaa hautaki kubishana anything wakisema unakubali cuz me bado nilingoja huo jamaa even like two weeks arudi apologize ama arudi tu kwa senses zake but nikawa lishaamua walishamu so, lab, labda ulikuwa tayari kusahau kila kitu umefanyika mm. uh, like your guy me cheat na on you na aunt yako na mm. still want him back yes i That's still no I, because huni mm. mtu tumetoka naye mbali hata mm. saini kionge hivi i think it's that that guy he used to have uh, financial constraints mm-hmm. So I still t- tend to think alichagua huyu cuz huku kuna pesa ready but me I have to wake up every morning to go and hustle for that money when I come back in the evening sasa ngi unapata kama tuko tu na doya kutusustain hiyo siku the next day I have to get money cuz yeye alikuwa anapata zile kidogo kidogo from mama yake na unajua mwanamume azitumiwa pesa kila siku so ningimpatia hii chance I thought like maybe um mtu ama akona hata anataka kuchukua title deed Nikuwa nafikiria ama anataka kupatiwa nini ya gari logbook mm-hmm. but see if they had moved on and my aunt texted me like i think four days ago that they are pregnant and she's telling me that aliniambia we are pregnant she said that we are pregnant mm-hmm. so she was asking me like in a, like in a few months will you come back for will you come for a baby shower i did not attend back to that cuz maybe she's lying to me you know because this is one guy that now I tend we both love sure. yeah now um, mpaka say do you still love the guy yeah honestly mm-hmm. i still do because that is one guy who knows how to handle me like he knows all my weaknesses and he was just a good guy alikuwa anaweza osha vyombo ana clean sasa nyasi sina do he could always understand like when mtu mwenye tumeanza naye kutoka chini hadi tumepanda juu except that he sleep kidogo yeah which is a bit understandable kama maybe alirogwa you know we cannot know maybe since then yeye mwenyewe binafsi the guy amekutafuta no no his number is not even going through maybe alibalisha namba ya simu i think he blocked me because i've tried it with my three numbers i nini i cannot see his profile pic in whatsapp facebook nikisearch hakuna so definitely i'll change but he just decided to move on yeah so that was hard that was hurting but what can i now do cuz i have to start afresh unajua hao watu walibeba hadi mkuki sufuria all my panties but i accept if he took all my panties including panties yes he has all the right cuz i never used to buy those things na pesa yangu but he was a very romantic guy akipata pesa kidogo alikuwa anajua like you can always win a woman na hizi vitu ndogo ndogo hana buy vitu kama bra ana buy nguo ni nini ni occasions mimi vitu kama valentine hata ile labor day ilipita i know angani surprise na kitu hata lollipop and that and those little things can really win a woman especially them kama mimi yeah wa wow, so tofauti na panties nguo labda walikuachia kila kitu kila kitu niko tu na bag ndogo hapo walibeba kila kitu hakuna kitu yote nilitoka nayo but ni juu ya aunt yangu cuz my my aunt on that day alikuwa mkali she was so aggressive na hata kama nakuanga na mdomo but when it comes to matters of the heart you can't you can't i had to think right cuz my daughter was there easy vitu zilikuwa zinafanyika akiona na alikuwa anaita chali yangu dadi hata biological dadi yake hajui vizuri and huyu ndo alikuwa anajua kama dadi so ako tu dadi anaenda wapi until she was crying but then my guy told him like mimi si baba yako mimi sijaza bado mtoto mkubwa kama wewe so it's it's now understandable wow. so say how are you surviving because hapa kwa nyumba yako is like uh, ndio umeanza maisha upya na nikiangalia vizuri bado huna hata vitu za kupika how are you surviving first of all in nyumba hauwezi pika This house ho, this house is so hot the mabati sijui hotness inatokana aje ndani ya mabati cuz iko na hewa kila mahali you cannot cook in this house not unless i start cooking outside but then i've not accepted even now i'm going to start cooking bado hiyo hata hiyo appetite sina yeah hizi mapera ndo naweza kupatia napenda fruits recently nimegundua i love fruits especially oranges i really love them so sahi kupika haiwezi it's only kuoga then i have a lot of difficulties izo kuoga i'm not used to kushare cho 
I'm not used to kushare bafu like it's so hard unafunga suka sasa hivi unapata kama kamba zimejaa you have to go and knock unaweza weka hii iko na challenges mingi so kukula ni hoteli wish ni mara once once cuz hapo hoteli pia ukienda mtu akikujua watu wawili watatu unaona kama wanaji signal ya then hoteli za huku most of them ni madondo ugali ugali sukuma ugali omena nini so bado hiyo chakula naye bado ni out so kwa sababu since pia kazi pia uleacha how are you surviving by the way okay sasa unajua kazi naye kazi naye tena ilikuwa ujinga yangu nilienda na emotions kwa job i'm not talking to everyone but those people should understand that i wasn't thinking cuz walikuwa nasema they could greet me and i just look at someone so when my boss realized that akaniambia i need some time off so unajua boss akikwambia you need some time off hata ukiambia mtu hivyo you know that in short you are already fired so maybe we are willing at an interbadai but hata sasa yakini akiniita i doubt if i'll still deliver like i used to deliver yeah so i'm surviving kuna vitu kidogo kidogo zenye napata someone is sending some cash my mom though mamangu bada juu story but najua siku moja ata watch but i still not want my family kuingilia hii maneno yani at least mamangu pia mamangu ame play a very big role kwa hiyo relationship rent sasa zingine kama baada tujalipa mshahara my mom will pay alafu nikilipwa na mtumia so mamangu this time i relax to wacha nijiinue peke yangu mm. labda umeongea na mamako umemwambia labda aache kukutumia support no sijamwambia yeye bado ananitumia anga tu zile ndo, do, kido, kidogo akidhani bado tuko pamoja juu anatuitanga watoto wangu so sijamwambia anything because nikimwambia it is going to be chaotic at home kwa sasajua kama ni familia amefanya hivyo hajajua kama yule chalia tuko pamoja my mom yani itamuuma kwa sababu ni mtu mwenye anajua hmm. So which means eh, this guy na wewe kuna vile mshafanya mpaka introduction nyumbani mpaka mama anamjua anawaita anawaita watoto wake Yeah every holiday tunaendanga home mm-hmm. and then unajua mimi mamangu ananga hizo vitu siji sana ndio sijua afai kufanya nini mm-hmm. tunaendanga home na he, like everywhere mm-hmm. Yeah hata nashanganga vile watu wengine walikuwa na buy my story to have sponsors na wani unangi club because this guy hako anapenda kwenda club yeah. Mimi pia sipendi kwenda club but anyway tungeenda hata hiyo club mara moja moja tulikuwa wawili hata kuna watu wengine kwa plot walikuwa nadhani like we are siblings some are twins but we were so much in love so i lost wow. so in this case uh, labda hauna kazi kukula pia unasema unapata shida uh, kushare bafu pia so how are you going to survive here yeah? We been up so you going to survive. I think I'm going to try but I was thinking of making another bathroom pale kwa ile corridor. Ni hoge ndani ya nyumba cuz a neighbor was suggesting that to me mwenye pia ni fan. Alikuwa anambia nikipata tab cuz unapata kama saa zingine umeenda kuoga watu wa melai na hapo na basin. Sasa ni I don't know 3 3 minutes ama 5 5 ikienda sana. La sibu unapigiwa kile then you know I'm not used to that. So alikuwa anambia niweke bathroom ndani ya nyumba nikishaoga na nafagia nje. So you it, think that will help you since uh, up and your place utakona ka until maybe things is quite better I really don't know right now what si si fikiri mm-hmm. si fikiri kabisa to be honest all i need is let you to be left alone i think because after all a lot of people are going to give me advice sympathizers watakuwa wengi which you don't know which one is genuine but at the end of the day i'm the one to choose mm-hmm. I'm the one to take in what advice like decision ni yangu. So sijui maybe unisaidie kufikiria. Hmm. Anyway so labda mtu ambaye labda kona kazi akiofa kazi unaweza kubali. Yeah mtu akiofa kazi naweza kubali hmm. but lazima ni naweza kubali but lazima asinipeleke mbio at first because I'm still trying to adjust. Yeah. And then I will just request anybody. Yeah. Kuna wenye wame watch story yangu. Please don't come to my inbox and still ask me if it is true or what. Mm-hmm. If kama wewe uko unaona kama si ukweli, mm-hmm. baki tuna hivyo. Ukiona kama ni ukweli, pia it's okay but don't come. You want to interrogate me. You want to start asking me. Yaani unaniuliza maswali. Mtu anataka tena ni explain what happened. Hii story yote you can imagine if you want to put it in paragraphs. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So ningependa tu mtu 
wewe kitu wenye ume watch chukua tu hivyo but please don't come cuz unajua hao watu wenyewe pia wananiuliza ngando wananiumiza sasa zingine hata want to eat my guavas from my kabati cuz this is my kabati i will give you one guava i want to eat i want to have a restful moment simu peti mouth nimesikia hivi na hivi akipole nini lifanyika ulifanya nini why can't you fight back mbona unge fight na unakwanga na mdomo so how matters of the heart ni different na matters I, I, imagine hmm? you ni mapenzi you are trying to protect maybe he'll come to me after one month maybe he'll come after days maybe our guy was trying to take a title deed from my my aunt, my aunt my hmm. Ajia yeah, wanasema wanaume kama sisi tunakuwa na secret weapon maybe there's something anajaribu ku play but uh, since uh, bado nampenda na mlikuwa mnapenda na I'm hoping so mapenzi bado itazidi kukua so maybe let's hope mwanaume anajaribu ku play the secret cards kama kawaida wanaume tunajua so labda mtu ambaye anaangalia interview sasa hii na ako willing kukupatia support labda unaruhusu support yote labda <coughs> sai bado siruhusu siruhusu hizo ma support cuz najua wa Kenya mkenya kikutumia pesa kesho i know i will still rise up mzuka and then if i rise up you see the viola i used to be the petty mouth i used to be the way i used to talk i will even talk much more kuliko here cuz i'm not still going to to sahau my brand just because someone sent me 5000 or 2000 so for me to avoid all the things I will not want anybody to send me money so that they still use it to kill me online. I will not want anybody to have my number to advise me. I think I've been given a lot of advices now kwanza na familia na wao ndo tena wameniarudisha chini. Maybe prayers of which you person enda kuniombea. Kwani yeye hayakuwa ngi at broken ama yeye afanyangi dhambi. So However is watching just put me in prayers that's all I can say. Yeah. Nikifika mahali kama siezi kula I will tell you guys mlilete food but no money but mm-hmm. as for now mm-hmm. waniachane tu bado sitaki visitors. Mm-hmm. Maybe pia tuombe Mwenyezi Mungu sana isifike mm-hmm. extent my labda una omba chakula. Mm, Nisiwaifika. Mm-hmm. Cuz our Kenya watanikanyage unajua Kenyans can really work on you. Yeah. Mm? Cuz I'm I know I'm coming back very soon as as very strong woman. Yeah, baba mto hii anachukua mto hii vile niliwambia tu. In a few days cuz nilisema one week. It's now a few days. And I'm chukua then I will now start like what do I want to do with myself cuz the only problem now is mto hii. My my baby tells me all the time mama sasa hicho tutakaaje. So she doesn't understand. Mm. Wow. so guys uh, vile msikia kutoka kwake uh, viola uh, the only thing labda unaweza msaidia nayo for now labda umweke kwa maombi na pia kiwezekana kuna nafasi ya kazi mahali unaweza uh, unaweza mtafuta uh, umpatie kazi na ameomba tena usimpeleke mbio sana because uh, unampea kazi afuta kuangalia interview which means ni mtu um, kuna kidogo ana, anapitia magumu sana so guys uh, Uh, she's just requesting mimi pia najaribu tukuomba labda vile tu amesema kuna zile ma sympathy sana zisikuwe mingi sana and at least eh, sometimes binadamu anahitaji time ya kurecharge eh? at least you have time alone ufikirie maisha yako vile iko na the end of the day sisi sote tunaomba Mwenyezi Mungu uh, tutoke kwa kila hali tuko nayo tukuwe stronger than how we used to be Yeah so guys uh, kutoka kwangu sina la ziada labda uh, viola kwa kwa, kwa sababu unajua kuna mashabiki na kuna watu ambao wanakupenda na labda ungependa kuambia nini Yeah like I used to tell my my mashabiki like if you want to give up just give up but today is different yeah. If you want to give up keep trying until we rise up then we'll start telling you like if you want to give up just give up but as for now mm-hmm. if you feel like you want to give up mm-hmm keep pressing hard cuz it's really hard mashabiki wangu bado muende tu pale kwa youtube channel yangu you subscribe cuz that is the only way imebaki sai that is what i have so it's upon me to work extra hard for it and then i make it yeah shukran sana Sunday. na napole sana kwa chochote ambaye inaendelea kwa maisha yako at the end of the day mm. Mwenyezi Mungu ambaye anatupea hai haizi ruhusu tu uendelee zaidi hivi ile umeendelea sasa. Mm. Yeah. yeah. That's true. Shukrani sana. Sunday. Nam guys uh, kutoka kwangu sina la ziada kumbuka kwamba hii imekuwa mzuri kibao TV na kama kawaida mimi naitwa Wandiga. So guys just in case uko na nafasi ya kazi vile amesema 
the only thing you do unaweza mtafuta kwenye social media zake au mdm na umpatie i think that's the only place mzee tunapata sasa because unasema namba sai bado yeah namba wataanza kunitroll nayo ah sio yeah so guys mtafute kwenye social media yote tu please unajua anapatikana na uh, mtaweza kuongea na tafadhali mweke kwa maombi na once again kama kuna nafasi ya kazi vile amesema if you want to give up not today you keep on pressing hard na mashabiki wake amekuwa amekuwa akiwaambia kwamba if you want to give up just give up but today amebadili msemo au sio amesema kwamba if you want to give up not today you have to keep on pressing hard and hard and hard sina la ziada guys bye bye